Hello everybody and welcome back to Hacker Tools. In this episode we will be covering no SQL map. Now ever since big data and real-time applications have become the norm, we have increasingly needed different database solutions than just relational databases. And that's where no SQL has come in. So in these databases, data is being stored in a different way. It can be document-based, graph-based, um, or key value databases. So there are different ways of storing your information. However, have we ever looked into the security of NoSQL databases? First of all, is this security important? Well, I'm just gonna let some headlines of articles speak for, this, for themselves. The first one being hacker ransoms 23,000 MongoDB databases and threatens to contact GDPR authorities because uh, over 22,000 databases are left uh, exposed online without a password. Or unsecured MongoDB database exposes real-time location of families. Another one, a benevolent hacker is warning owners of unsecured Cassandra databases and he is uh, creating a new table in a lot of unsecured databases to warn them that their database is not secure. So that's, that just shows that it is incredibly important to know about NoSQL security. What better way to test the security of something than to have a tool that can help you and assist you in your journey? And that is exactly where NoSQL comes into play. So NoSQL map is an open source Python tool that is designed to audit and uh, automate injection attacks, uh, exploiting default um, configuration weaknesses, um, web applications using NoSQL um, to clone data from a database and all that kind of stuff. SQL map is very easy to install and can do a lot of things. Something it can do is, for example, scan for uh, scan an IP range for anonymous MongoDB access. Uh, it can scan a subnet. It can scan a list of IP addresses. You can perform some active web exploitation um, to actively search for injection points in uh, forms. You can brute force logins. Uh, you can perform time-based attacks. You can clone databases, you can enumerate databases. So there is a lot that you can do with this amazing tool. Now, just to show some practical uses, usage of it, we will now go into uh, performing some active web, web exploitation on a login form. Let's say you found a login page and this login page, uh, you suspect that the backend database is MongoDB. Uh, okay. So on this login page, we can obviously try to log in. So ping draconian something. And if we submit that, it says, sorry, uh, that was not valid, but we want to log in. So what are we going to do? Well, first of all, I sent that um, over to burp in the repeater. And now I can send this and I get sorry. So this is what the request looks like. We have user and uh, password as two uh, fields here that we sent in a post request. All right, now let's use um, NoSQL map to see if we can find a NoSQL injection here. So I'm gonna run Python nosqlmap.py. We're then gonna set some options. So first of all, we're gonna set the target host or IP, which is going to be 127.0.0.1. Then I'm gonna set the web app port. In my case, that's uh, 49090. Uh, the web app path is going to be slash the um, HTTP request method is going to be post. And now we have to enter the post data in a comma separated list where the parameter name then valued and parameter name. So user, uh, user value. So let's just say username and then pass and then uh, password as, as value for that. All right. Now we have everything set, we can go back to the main menu and now we can press three for NoSQL web app attacks. Now I can say, okay, I want to inject into the password and um, enter a random string length. The random string that's going to be used is going to be alphanumeric. And now it says, okay, it's going to um, send random parameter value. It gets no change in the response size. And now it can start to perform some tests. And immediately you see it finds some 
possible injections. So that's really cool. Uh, it wants to start timing based tests since it has already found a possible injections. I'm going to say no here. And now it passes us um, the possible vulnerable requests that it found. And we see here that it supplied a value pass uh, greater than nothing, then the user username and then the password and this weird uh, string. And it says, okay, for that, it got a different response. So let's see if we can imitate that. Um, so I put that in here and if I send that we say okay can't use this weird string with string so that's an error from NoSQL uh, from MongoDB which is great um, now we can manually expand that and try to see if we can go for um, a injection that will pass the login screen and that actually is very simple um, the user is greater than nothing which is true for any username that will be greater than nothing. And then the password greater than nothing as well, which is also true uh, for anything. So if we send that request, we see that we get welcome back administrator. And this was a very simple example of how we used NoSQL map to uh, find a potentially vulnerable uh, injection point. And we then manually injected that. And that is one of the many powers that NoSQL map has. Now it has a lot more things that it can do, but for that, check out the blog post and use the tool yourself and see what you can find. And that was it for today's video. We looked at NoSQL map today, which is an extremely powerful tool set that you can use to increase your efficiency while looking for vulnerabilities in NoSQL databases. I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, if you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments. If there's any other tools that you want, would want us to discuss in the next videos, please also comment them down below. Thank you.